Welcome to the world of molecular biology. In this video, we will explore DNA structure and function, gene expression, and protein synthesis. We'll focus on the genetic code and its building blocks called codons. Are you ready? Let's dive in. In summary, DNA is a complex molecule carrying genetic information. It has a double helix structure with nucleotides composed of sugar, phosphate, and nitrogenous bases. The sequence of bases determines the genetic code, instructing protein synthesis and other crucial biological processes. Understanding the sequence of nucleotides in DNA is crucial for decoding genetic information. Techniques like Sanger sequencing and next-generation sequencing have revolutionized DNA sequencing, enabling us to unravel the complexities of genomics and personalized medicine. Translation occurs in the ribosome, where mRNA is read in codons. Each codon represents an amino acid. Transfer RNA carries amino acids to the ribosome, where they are joined to form a polypeptide chain. The genetic code determines which codons correspond to amino acids. There are 64 codons and 20 amino acids. Some amino acids have multiple codons and there are three stop codons. Transcription and translation are crucial for studying genetics and disease mechanisms. The genetic code is the set of rules that connect mRNA's nucleotide sequence to a protein's amino acid sequence. Codons, consisting of three nucleotides, encode amino acids or stop signals. There are 64 codons, including three stop codons, and redundancy in codons allows for multiple codes for the same amino acid. The genetic code is almost universal, facilitating genetic information transfer between species. Overall, codons are the sequences of three nucleotides that dictate which amino acids or stop signals are incorporated into proteins. The first two nucleotides are more constricted in base pairing, while the third position is more flexible. Multiple codons can code for the same amino acid, contributing to redundancy. The starting nucleotide in a codon is essential for interactions between trinomolecules and mRNA codons during translation. In summary, codons are categorized into start codons, coding codons, and stop codons. Start codons initiate protein synthesis, coding codons specify amino acids, and stop codons terminate translation. Different organisms have distinct preferences for start codons, with August being common in eukaryotes and archaea, while August, GUG, and UUG are utilized in bacteria. Coding codons correspond to specific amino acids, while stop codons signal the end of translation. Stop codons do not code for amino acids and instead interact with release factors to dismantle the ribosome and free the synthesized protein. The process of translation involves initiation, elongation, and termination. Initiation involves the binding of ribosomal subunits to the mRNA and positioning of the trina at the start codon. Elongation involves the synthesis of the protein, with aminoacyl trina pairing with mRNA codons and peptide bond formation. Termination occurs when a stop codon is encountered, causing the ribosome to disassemble and release the protein. Reading frames are the different ways a nucleotide sequence can be read in sets of three codons. Open reading frames, ORFs, are protein coding regions that start with a start codon and end with a stop codon. Researchers study these to identify genes and understand an organism's protein coding potential. While the genetic code is universal, there are some variations observed in specific organisms or organelles. For example, the mitochondria and some bacteria use slightly different genetic codes than the universal code found in the nucleus of eukaryotes. Variations in the genetic code often involve changes in the assignment of codons to specific amino acids. These variations have implications for understanding evolutionary relationships, protein synthesis, and the development of therapeutics targeting specific organisms. Non-standard genetic codes refer to genetic codes that deviate significantly from the universal genetic code. These deviations can include alterations in codon assignments, the use of non-standard amino acids, and the expansion of the genetic code to include additional codons and amino acids. These non-standard genetic codes are found in diverse organisms, ranging from bacteria and archaea to certain mitochondria and single-celled organisms. They have significant implications for protein synthesis, cellular processes, and evolutionary relationships. Understanding non-standard genetic codes provides valuable insights into the complexity and adaptability of life on Earth. Codon usage bias refers to the non-random usage of synonymous codons for the same amino acid during translation. Different organisms and even different genes within the same organism can exhibit distinctive codon usage patterns. Factors influencing codon usage bias include the abundance of trinomolecules corresponding to specific codons, gene expression levels, translation efficiency, and mutational pressures. Codon usage biases can vary between species, reflecting evolutionary divergence and adaptation to specific environments. 
researchers study codon usage bias to gain insights into gene expression regulation, evolutionary dynamics, and to optimize gene expression in various biotechnological applications. Understanding the genetic code and codons is crucial for medical students. DNA structure, nucleotide composition, transcription, and translation provide key insights into molecular mechanisms, with implications in medicine, biotechnology, and genetics.